at the end of the interview is typically when the interviewer will say to you, hey, do you have any questions? And that's a great opportunity. You never want to say, no, I don't have any questions because you, you always want to have at least two to three questions. It's a perfect opportunity to learn more about the company or learn more about that specific job uh, position that you're applying for or anything that might have happened through the interview process to ask questions around that. It helps you to understand for future interviews and also when you get to the point of actually getting an offer, you'll have more information to make that offer or to accept or decline that offer or to negotiate that offer. So questions that you could use, some just general ones, would be things like um, asking the interviewer, what do you feel are the most important duties and responsibilities for the job? Or for the person hired into this position, what do you think would be the most important or immediate priorities? What is the most difficult challenge a person in this position would face? What are some of the key skills or personal attributes you think a person in this position would need to have in order to be successful in the job? And where do you see the company headed in the next five years or into the future? These are some good general questions that you can always use. You want to prepare ahead of time, like two or three, so you've got them in your pocket ready to go. But during the interview, you might have something specific that comes up. Maybe you've got a good discussion about the job or about the team and you want to ask something specific. Go for it. Go ahead and ask a question, but you always want to be prepared so you've got a couple ready to go. And then also when the person, the interviewer, answers your question, it might be a great opportunity that then, you know, link how your skills really help uh, beyond just him asking the question or answering your question, really in a short or concise manner. So, for example, if you ask the interviewer, uh, what do you think is the greatest challenge with uh, this particular position, at least immediate challenge, and the interviewer said something like, well, this person's going to really need to be able to work with a lot of different team members from a lot of different departments. It's very cross-functional, so you got to be really skilled at that. You could say... You could say, oh, thank you, that's a great answer, and then add on to it like, oh, you know what, I forgot to tell you, or maybe we didn't expand enough, I can do this and this and this, real short and concise, where you actually answer that challenge or answer that question with a short little thing on top of their answer. So you ask the question, they give you the answer, you could then go on and ask another question, or it might be a great opportunity to reemphasize how you can really help them by what they say and give them some specific feedback on how you can help them. So it's a great opportunity, not only ask questions and learn more, but where you can also then add in a little bit more about your skills and abilities as well. Lastly, once you complete that section of the asking the interview the questions, that's a good time to say, okay, uh, that's all the questions I have. What would be the next steps? So there's two ways you can do. One is to ask, what would be the next steps? It actually puts the interviewer not on the spot so much, but moves it along to say, okay, I'm ready. You've got to answer my questions. I've answered your questions. What goes next? Do we have more interviews? Are you going to give me an offer? What is it? Uh, if you don't ask that, sometimes the interview can just end and nothing happens, even if you're a good candidate and you get kind of lost in the in the mix of all the other interviews. So by asking the next steps, it almost gets the interviewer thinking like, oh, we, we should schedule the next interview right away, or I should walk down the hallway and interview, introduce you to the team or take you on a tour. You know, asking what are the next steps. And the next step might be an offer right then and there. So be prepared for that. All, the other option you can do beyond asking for the next steps or instead of asking for next steps is if you had a great interview and everything's going great, maybe it's later in the interview process, is to ask for the job. Particularly if you're in sales or in management where it might be expected to ask for the job, it's a great time to say, you know what, you've been great. You've answered all my questions. If you have no other questions for me, I think I'd like to get started and get started with this job. I think it'd be a great fit. What do you think? Um, should I start next week? <laughs> you know, it's not, ask something even that simple. Uh, the interviewer is going to say either yes or no. You have really nothing to lose. They're not going to be offended by it. They'll be like, no, no, we're still interviewing other candidates. We're thinking about, but you're a good candidate. Let's set you up for another interview or we'll let you know would be the worst case situation. Or best case situation would be like, hmm, I like that you asked that. Well, yeah, let's talk about that. Let's talk about money and let's talk about an offer with you. And maybe you'll move the whole process along even faster by asking for the job. So uh, the key thing on this, be prepared with your questions ahead of time. Ask specific questions that might come up during the interview that you want more information on. Link it to your skills. Ask what the next steps are or possibly ask for the job because you might just get it.